And we're back. M5's running beautifully. So the Bosch coil packs arrived this morning to the shop. I called an Uber, asked Ellen to put that box in the Uber, and I sent the Uber to the house, which is a very efficient way of moving things around when you're in a pinch like that. I mean, not really. It's like 30 bucks to drive them 17 minutes, but it would have been better than me taking another car, driving up there, wasting all the time. So um, got them. I was able to get six installed in the garage. Why not eight? Cylinders one and five on the front of both banks. Well, we got to go backwards here. So the original manufacturer is Bremi. Bremi was fine for a long time, but then they moved to China and I hear there's issues. So for the M62 and S62 and S85, I've been using uh, Bosch or in the case of the S85, what a Delphi, I think. But anyways, for these V8s, Bosch. So I ordered the Bosch coil packs and the little arms that stick out and have the, the bores through them that go over the studs and then the nuts go on to secure it to the, to the head. You know what I'm talking about? Those on the factory ones is just like a little finger, a little arm with an eyelet in it. But on the Bosch, the whole coil pack is larger and it's just all plastic. I don't know why they designed it like that, but they did. So it runs into the stud that holds the beauty cover on and doesn't fit. You know, you could put it in and just put one nut on it and it's crooked, but I don't think you get the beauty cover on. So anyways, I put in cylinders two through four and six through eight or five through eight, drove it up to the shop, did great, and changed out the last two. Of course, the key is just taking the coil pack to a grinding wheel and just grinding off a few millimeters um, of the plastic. It doesn't get into the, the internals of the coil pack at all, but they're in there, torqued down, and we're running well, so I just wanted to drive it tonight, verify proper functionality. We'll get it warm, throw some revs at it, uh, check the codes tomorrow, but I think we're good. It was a productive Monday all in all. We started a new project after kind of getting as far as we can on that Imola Red engine. Um, not a full rebuild, but we had the cylinder heads off. Got the Bank 2 head back on. It's not quite in time yet. We need a couple O-rings for the uh, Venice adjustment units before we can install them and time the engine. Got that stuff ordered today. I think it's going to be two days. So in the meantime, we started a new project. It's the His name is Sterling, and the car, unfortunately, isn't Sterling. It's titanium silver. Um, Alan got a bunch of work done. Front axle brakes. All the calipers are off. They're actually in the trunk of my car right now. They're going out to Pennsylvania to get um, refurbished, rebuilt, and powder-coated. He had a friend in town wanted to give him a business. I was fine with it because my guy in Orange County is taking forever these days. So they'll be going off tomorrow. But front struts, wheel bearings, brakes, control arms, links, kind of the whole front clip is taken care of. Tomorrow will be the rear. Drive line comes out as the usual suspects. Monaco Blue 2008 M5 was uh, trucked on down to a sublet today. Let them diagnose the misfires. I've done everything I know how to do with that. I'm totally out of patience and motivation for it. So it just needs fresh eyes. And I hope to hear something uh, middle of the week. Hopefully a diagnosis that doesn't make me beat myself up because we missed something stupid. In other news today, my 540 got some PDR, some paintless or pointless, depending on your position of dent removal. Uh, same guy I've worked with for a while, but the trunk lid I installed had one very minor uh, kind of ding right up in about this area, so that came out no problem. And then I, I kind of just told him, he got there before I did this morning, I said, anything you find, remove to the best of your ability. So he spent eh, probably 90 minutes, went around the car. Most of it was front driver door in the area below. On the M5 it's black, but on the 540 it's body colored. Uh, the side impact strip trim piece, whatever you call that. Um, so it looks like over 90% of that came out. PDR is not 100%. I've never seen them be able to remove, you know, the dent to a point where you can stare at it with the, the light, with the lines in it, whatever they have, and like not see it, but it vastly reduces it 90 plus percent, uh, which ultimately is good enough on a car like that. So whew, I forgot to talk about that before, but in and out night, I, I went to bed at like 2 a.m. last night and woke up at 7 and it's just after 9 now. So we're going to bed early. Talk to you guys tomorrow, Tuesday. Bye.